Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another tag video I had mentioned back in December when I had done my very first tag video of the year, I think. It's been a while since I've done tag videos and I'm happy that they are resurfacing here on YouTube because it just, I just get to know more YouTubers as a person behind the scenes than just seeing them on camera. So I'm very happy that more tags are coming out. And I have a list of ones that I want to do, so I'm just taking my time little by little, showing you more tag videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. So today I'm doing the, let me make sure I'm getting this right, the beauty community tag, right? Let me just double check. It is called that? Yes. Yes. The beauty community tag. This, I believe, was um, done by Lisa Stevens. And I was tagged by Drea, so I'm very excited to do this video. I have taken a screenshot of these uh, questions. I have watched a few of them, but it has been a month. And I haven't really looked at the questions since then to really know what I'm going to say. So just prep yourselves. But before I get into the questions, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it, and let's get on with the tag. All right, so I have the questions here on my phone, and I'm just gonna run through them and share them with you guys. First question is, what are your favorite videos to watch? I did my top five, bottom five videos that I love to watch on YouTube. Well, um, a few that I have mentioned were makeup tutorials. I love watching declutter videos. I like watching shop my stash videos. I like watching out there different types of videos. I also do like my traditional ones, my uh, you know monthly favorites, um, get ready with me's, you know those type of videos. Uh, I, I like a variety of them and I enjoy them. And I don't. There are times where I veer off and do something different, but for the most part, I did do a video of what I like and what I don't like. So I'll link it up here if you are interested. Second question is, what are your favorite videos to film? Basically anything I love to watch. Um, if you see my playlist, you guys can see what I love to uh, film, I, the things that I enjoy doing. I love doing makeup tutorials and I'm constantly thinking of innovative new ways to incorporate a makeup tutorial. I've done series on my channels just to use my stuff in makeup tutorials because I know that makeup tutorials is one of those things that is dying in the beauty community and it's unfortunate because I do love to watch makeup tutorials. So I'm always trying to figure out a new way to resurface a makeup tutorial. If you guys can see I've done a Gone But Not Forgotten series which one should be coming up soon I've done pigment palooza I've done um, you know palettes that are new that you guys want to see tutorials on I'm always taking uh, recommendations and requests for tutorials because that's my favorite thing to watch and to film number three what are your least favorite videos to watch again I did my top five videos I know I didn't mention a few things but I know for one I don't like to watch empties video it's just I don't, I don't want to watch an empties video. I'd rather watch a review. I'd rather watch a favorites. And if they don't, if they include things that weren't their favorites of the month, I'd rather watch those in empty videos. I don't like to watch first impression, first impressions with a little twist. I, I explained it more in that video, but that's another thing I don't like to watch. I don't like to watch individuals who are constantly hauling but not really sharing the products and how they work because it's not really useful. Um, there's a few of them, but again, that video shall be linked. Number four, what is your favorite part of the beauty community? Uh, I There's a, quite a few things that I love about the beauty community. One, getting to know people that I normally wouldn't have known if it wasn't for social media. I have really good friends that live in Canada that I would have never met ever in my life. I interact with you guys. This is my time away from my everyday life. I have kids. I have a home to run. I'm constantly on the go with extracurricular activities. I cook all the time in my house and um, comparing, because I have experienced this, comparing it to my first child. When I um, had my first daughter, um, my husband told me to stay home and raise her. I was driving myself crazy. I am some someone that needs to have something to do at all times and I hate to admit it because I'm always saying that he's the one with the ADD and it might just be me too, but um, I couldn't take it. After five months, I found a full-time job because I just couldn't sit at home. And now that I am a stay-at-home mom, I only stayed at home for five months and then I worked throughout recently up until my last year was last year. Um, but now that I've been a stay-at-home mom for a year, um, it's different because I have this to do. This distracts me. This is, I consider this my 
time away from home basically even though i am in my home and i'm still doing what i need to do but this is what distracts me if i didn't have youtube I would drive myself crazy again and I know a friend of mine who recently went through it and she couldn't take it so she she got a job because she couldn't do it either she's just like me so uh, that's what I love I just love being here interacting with you guys meeting new people distracting myself from everyday life it's just it's a wonderful place and it's unfortunate because some people ruin it for others but it is a really nice place to be uh number five what is your least favorite part of the beauty community um i feel like the competitiveness i feel like it's no longer just turning on the camera and talking to you know the neighbor next door or the girl down the street or the guy who just enjoys you know building stuff it's now become a place where it's a good thing and a bad thing where it's become careers now so now people take it in a different way i feel like um with good always comes bad so it's unfortunate that it's very competitive it's not no longer that just homey type of feeling it's more of like a who can beat who i'm constantly hearing people mention uh, oh i'm so happy i reached this much because you know i wanted to reach this much to show up this person or whatever it is it's just like really just i just want it to be fun this is fun and that's how i i want to keep my channels just being fun I, i've been here for five years this month january is five years and some of you guys may think like wow Alex you've been here for five years and that's all the subscribers you've had but to me it's just a fun place to be I'm not here to try to compete or beat anybody at gaining more subscribers than them or or views or whatever it is this is just fun for me and a lot of you guys have told me that you enjoy it that um it's a different place that i'm not like everyone else and i it's and because i am me I, I shouldn't be like everyone else everyone should be their own person and i i feel like we've lost that and i hope it gets back soon number six what motivated you to start your channel um i was at a point where i was working my daughter was very young she was under two and i just wanted a hobby i wanted something for myself i felt like my whole life was consumed around my daughter and my my husband and my household and i just i was losing myself i wanted to do something for me and do it where i am not begging for somebody's friendship you know like having to call somebody and they're they're doing their thing you know what i mean i kind of was getting into that so my sister actually had mentioned to me uh go on youtube distract yourself find it's fun to watch but and I've never been a technology person so I didn't even know this existed and when I did get on here I was hooked I was hooked literally I remember it was summertime I saw my first few people I fell in love that it, it only took me about four or five months and I was already started my channel started to film because i loved it that much i said you know what just jump on board because if you don't do it you're gonna regret it not starting it any earlier and that's exactly what i did number seven what most inspires you on youtube everyone does i feel like everyone here has something to put out on the table everyone does i get inspiration from everyone including comments that i see not only on my videos but other people's videos on uh, the interaction you know it's so much that inspires you every day i'm constantly watching videos and i get inspired to do a video on my own you know um it's it's an amazing place it's such a creative and amazing place um it, i i it's just everyone everything and everyone on youtube inspires me one way or another i can't really pinpoint someone or something or some looks or whatever it is some video ideas i feel like it's everyone number one thing you would change about youtube beauty community oh my goodness gracious um let's see what would i change uh there's so much um I wish that it would go back to what it was. I wish that the old YouTube was here to stay and that's how it would stay. Um, I feel like th there is change happening in YouTube for the better. I feel like we're all starting to realize that we don't need to have every single release. We don't need to spend so much money. We don't need 
to have everything that comes out and I feel like there is a change happening which is good because we're one starting to get our money's worth out of our products two we're starting to you know realize that things don't always make you happy it's just it's things it's things that are gonna stay here when you pass. So it's not like you can take it in the afterlife. So you might as well enjoy it while you have it. And I feel like that is a change that is happening. So I feel like that is a good thing. I feel like, I hope that change continues and a lot more people jump on and realize it. Cause then that, that'll affect companies of how they um, do PRs and they come about releasing things because I feel like they've released so much every second it's impossible to keep up and it's just too much it's way too much I feel overwhelmed it's just I don't even look at new releases anymore because it's just overwhelming number nine number one advice for other creators new people starting out a channel don't hesitate if you want to do it just do it just do it you are different. You are not like anyone else. Do you. Don't follow what everyone else is doing. When I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I remember watching a few people and everyone kept saying, do videos that are popular to get noticed. And I'm like, what? And these videos I wasn't happy doing, but that's the advice that was being given. So I'm like, okay. And I wish I would have gotten the advice that everyone is getting now. It's just be yourself. Do what you want to do. Being unique is awesome. It's, you know, I, I love to just do me. And everyone has their own little thing. And that's what makes it fun. Because then you have a bunch of variety to watch. You don't watch the same thing over and over and over. And it's, I'm happy to see that a lot more people are doing that. A lot more people are loving color, which I've always been a color. I love color. And I remember in the beginning, not many people would watch my colorful eyeshadow looks because it wasn't the thing. It wasn't the thing to do. Color, I just love color. So a lot of things are changing. I feel like just be yourself. Do it. Don't hesitate. Don't be afraid. You know, it's... It's an experience, it's a great experience, but just also keep in mind you're going to have to have a, a tough skin because these new generations, I'm telling you, man, they are tough. And I myself have gone through so much in my life that whenever I have gotten any bad comments, and I haven't gotten any brutal comments yet, thank God, but I'm sure one day it may come to that, and I have just been... Go, gone through so much that I don't know if I would be affected. I have pretty tough skin and I feel bad for those that don't. So do just do it. Don't hesitate. Be yourself and just keep remembering yourself that it's... I, I always go by this one quote and I always stick by it. If I don't know you personally, I'm not taking it personally. It's just another thing. So I've always used that as my mentality for YouTube and I've always stuck to it. If I don't know you personally, I'm not taking it personally. I'm not gonna, thank you for watching is basically what you're gonna get from me. That's it. <laughs> Number 10 is, what do you love about YouTube as a whole? What I love about YouTube as a whole is you get to meet people, you get the opportunity to work for companies if you're one of those lucky people, you get the opportunity to, um, you know, use your platform for something good. I, I love when I see people at a higher position being able to do good for others. I think that is amazing. And I would hope that more would do so because you are having a voice for those that, you know, are inspiring to do something special and awesome in this world. So it's a great place to exp express yourself, um, enjoy the company that you have. There are good people out there and I have I have seen it and I have been lucky enough to have some as friends here on YouTube. So I think it's a great place. It's a fun place to be and I wish it stays that way. Like as YouTube as a whole is huge. There is so much out there. Like if you just think that we as the beauty community are just this tiny little speck in the YouTube world. It's huge. There's so much, so much on YouTube that you can learn. It's a learning experience. It's it teaches you things you can learn about different things if you're you know now it's a fun place to be able to teach people as well as learn that's another thing because I've learned a lot from YouTube and I and I mean like cooking 
cleaning things, you know, how to get rid of certain things, things that were never accessible back in the day. Um, you know, Mr. Man has used it to fix car parts, his, his lawnmower stuff, sprinkler system. Um, you know, it's just, it's a world of knowledge and just take advantage of it because we're very lucky to have it. So that is it for the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I literally just answered these off the cuff. Uh, I, I didn't even go through this or write anything down or I haven't put a thought on it, but I just wanted to share this beauty community tag. Can I even say it? beauty community tag that uh, was created by Lisa Stevens. I will list her channel down below as well as Drea. Thank you for tagging me. I tag anybody that does YouTube. And if you don't, leave the answers down in the comment section. Pick a few questions, leave them down in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys think from the other spectrum. What would you guys want YouTube to change as? What have you learned from YouTube? You know, all those things. I love to hear from the perspective of the viewer versus the creator. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.